Hi guys, Abby here. So as you can see from the title, we are getting into our classic Jane Eyre. I'm really enjoying it. If you've seen my March TBR, you've seen that this gigantic book was on it. So we are finally going to be reading it. I can't remember who it was. It was either uh, Laura the Kermit, Leandra the TBR Zero, or Beatrice that told me that listening to a classic audiobook helps understand it better. I don't know. Maybe it's because you read the words properly. Maybe that is what helps. Um, I always struggle with classics because the understanding of the words. So I have to spend a lot of time like researching when I'm reading a classic. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that this one will be easier to understand. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited. Let's just get on with the video. Okay, so I have read officially five chapters of Jane Eyre. So far, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I think it's easy to understand and I don't think it's just because I'm listening to the audio. I think the actual dialect is actually really simple and not too classic -y in that classic like old English writing I feel like it is quite understandable um yeah and I'm really enjoying it so so far we've met Jane Eyre we've found her her horrible living um and she has just went to school so we're learning about this school and the teachers at this school and how things work etc and um, it's a boarding school and I'm really enjoying it I always think it's quite funny that a lot of classics are literally just like days in the life of like this young adolescent girl like i love that that's just a lot of classics it's just like everyday stuff but yeah i'm excited to continue with it harvey wanted to come say hi you okay yeah i'm on chapter eight of jane Eyre. i'm really enjoying it we've just found out one of her friends is sick and it doesn't look likely that she's going to get through it which is a shame um, there's also a bit we talk about getting chill blains. And I, I don't know if y'all have had chill blains, but I've had chill blains and they're not nice. Like, mm -mm, not for me. Um, really sore, really itchy. Um, luckily my nan is a nurse, so she knew what to do. Um, so basically you have to try and heat your feet without like overheating them. So like don't put them near fire. Um, Cause doing that can cause chill blains. Like, the, the constant change in temperature can cause chill blains, like cold to hot, hot to cold, that kind of thing. Um, but you know, like you, you gotta put like socks on, that kind of thing. Um, they're not the one. I have really bad circulation in my feet. I don't know how and I don't know why. And my fingers actually, now that I think of it, not the point. I am going on my first live stream today and I'm so excited and we will be listening to Jane Eyre. So currently while I'm waiting, I'm on Brittany's sprints. Then we are going on to my first ever sprint. So hopefully you came and you had a great time. Um, if you didn't, hopefully you come to future ones because I'll definitely be doing in the future. Um, but I will be doing my uni work, but I'll be listening to Jane Eyre at the same time. The dog has actually joined us because the heating is on and he just loves being by the fire. I'm at chapter 25 of Jane Eyre while I've just finished it. And what I love about classics is it's literally just drama. It's drama left, right and centre. Um, the characters are always up to something. It's like literally reality TV show back in the day. That's what this is, to be honest. Um, I love it. So Jane Eyre has become a governess um, and she is helping look after this French child because um, she speaks French. Um, there's been a whole lot of drama in between that, actually. Um she's went back to her aunt to visit her um and the aunt's like you're not Jane Eyre you're not scrawny and annoying um so that was fun however Edward Edward sir what game what games are you playing sir do you know what I mean he's a cheeky fellow um I don't actually know like that's something else as well with these classics it's always like an age gap romance always an age gap. Like what what what's that about?
stop. So I've just read chapter 26. Well, I'm happy for it. Jane Eyre's Wedding, guys. If you've known this book, oh my gosh, the drama. I can't cope. Like, I'm actually gagged. Absolutely gooped and gagged. What the heck? Okay, so I've just finished chapter 27. Jane Eyre, what an amazing character. I just love um, her personality. I love that she has so much respect for herself. Like, she's an absolute G, like 10 out of 10. Um, I also want to emphasize, guys, no means no, not convince me. Okay, okay. To be fair, I get it. It's part of the, the story, it causes the drama. Um, him being like, you can't leave me, blah, blah, blah. Um, you need to love me because blah, 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 blah. Um, but you know what? Some people in that scenario would cave. They wouldn't be able to like stick up for themselves. They might fall back into the trap of like going back to that person. Whereas Jane here, she's like, I'm gonna pack my bags and I'm gonna leave right now. I mean, this might be my job, but like, I'm gone. <laughs> and I, I love that. I think that's great. Miss Jane Eyre. Like, obviously inflation and stuff like that, but like, whenever this was set back in the day, like back back in the day, she was like, I'm a free woman. I don't need to work. I look after myself. I have five thousand pound. Miss Ma'am, if I had five thousand pounds, that would be enough for absolutely nothing. Like nothing. I wish that five thousand pounds got you like a life these days. Like you need like fifty thousand pounds to be alive these days, and that's per year. Per year. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I can't cope. As per usual, I've not filmed a wrap up of this video. I don't even know if I filmed an intro, so this will be fun. Um, wow. I'm giving Jane Eyre five stars. It gave me everything that I was looking for. Um, it was classic, it was fun, it was drama filled, it kept on moving, it never stayed the same. Um, I could understand it without having to like Google lots of stuff. And I think Junior as a character was absolutely amazing. I thought she was great. Um, apart from the end, she annoyed me a little bit, but that's all part of the storytelling, to be honest. So I'm so glad that I finally read this classic and I totally understand why it's a classic. And if you're looking for a classic to read, then you should give it a shot. It's fun if you like the drama, if you like romance, if you like, oh, it's so good. So definitely check it out if that's your kind of thing. Also, I would love it if you subscribed to the channel. I have so many more videos coming. They are going to be so good. So pop the notification bell on as well so that you don't miss a video. Comment down below. Have you read Jane Eyre? Do you read classics? Is classics your thing? Are you wanting to read Jane Eyre? Are you wanting to read classics? Anything like that, I would love to hear from you. And lastly, please like this video because it really helps the channel and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Bye!